new undisputed champion Hulk Hogan kicked off SmackDown to officially start his title run on his brand, coming out to a massive ovation from the crowd lasting several minutes to recap the events that led to his title win with the crowd's support over the past month that forced the company into making the change in direction with the originally scheduled Hunter vs Taker match being replaced by Hogan vs Hunter on short notice followed by him ending up going over. With the decision to put the belt on Hogan for one more run reportedly coming down to the day of the Backlash pay-per-view on Sunday, with the decision made by Vince McMahon in the final production meeting in an attempt to capitalize on the Hogan nostalgia momentum while it's still as hot as it is weeks after his babyface turn, cutting Triple H's run unexpectedly short with him looking to have a long run after months of build-up to his comeback story from injury with Hogan as he did in his follow-up promo on Raw on Monday, hinting that his title reign might be a short transitional run saying that he can accept it if his career ended today after coming a full circle in his latest run that revived Hulkamania back in the WWF, hyping his next pay-per-view title match against Taker on May 19 with early advertising from the company indicating that it might be the case with Hogan on the day after the pay-per-view on May 20 reportedly advertised for a Monday Smackdown house show in Birmingham instead of the live Raw broadcast in Memphis which the WWF champion would be expected to appear on, with Hogan after offering the title rematch against Triple H to a massive reaction for later tonight, confronted by Hunter blaming Taker for his title loss before Vince McMahon interrupted to cancel the match to major heat. Instead booking Hunter vs Jericho in their first singles rematch from WrestleMania 18 for the main event with the winner facing Hogan for the title in the SmackDown main event next week. Opening SmackDown's first half hour which outside of the 17 minute opening segment also included a 6 man tag match with 4.8 million viewers. Outside of setting up the Jericho vs Hunter main event SmackDown saw an hour-long angle with Kurt Angle building up the hype for the reveal of his new t-shirt, and with the company internally hyping up two developmental wrestlers in particular as being future top players with the first one being Brock Lesnar currently being pushed on Raw, the second one made his main roster debut on the night with Randy Orton entering Vince McMahon's office with Vince acknowledging him as a third-generation wrestler with him the second overall in company history after Rock, setting up an angle with Vince and Stacy already in his first appearance to see Vince booking Orton against one of the usual company tests for rookies in a match against Bob Holly, with Vince in an interview on the company website during the week talking about his views on the company's new direction with the brand split saying that he's thrilled with the success so far especially with how strong the Raw ratings held. Noting the drop in the SmackDown viewership saying that they took half a step back on SmackDown in order to take two steps forward in the near future, while responding to the almost consensus opinion coming out of the draft show on SmackDown having the stronger roster noting that things are not always what they seem on paper with him in particular mentioning Rock's absence which the brand was supposed to be built around, and with questions on Rock's long and short term future coming up in every media interview Rock did in the past month in the lead up to the release of The Scorpion King. Vince commented on Rock's wrestling future saying that Rock will always come back to the WWF as he can't get the adrenaline rush of performing in front of 20,000 people a night in any other form of entertainment, with Rock who as acknowledged by McMahon and JR in recent weeks is set to work short-term runs from this point forward with the next one set for this summer, is set to make his return to the ring in his first non-televised match in over four months teaming with Hogan against Tangle and Jericho next Saturday, as SmackDown's first hour which saw Randy Orton's official TV debut match in an upset going over Bob Holly jumping over 800,000 viewers throughout to 5.6 million viewers, followed by Kurt Angle coming out minutes from the top of the hour for the hyped t-shirt reveal segment interrupted by Edge 
putting over their strong match at the Backlash pay-per-view which saw Angle going over before setting him up again to reveal a different shirt, with this segment bumping SmackDown into the 6 million viewers range at the 9 to 9 15pm quarter. With the viewership battle between the brands remaining close on almost a weekly basis with SmackDown coming into this Thursday holding a 2-1 lead since April 1st, the competition on the road was the same with last weekend's house shows remaining close with the Raw brand as opposed to the initial indication now with stronger star power cards, continuing to headline with Austin vs Undertaker followed by Hall vs Bradshaw and Van Dam vs Booker second and third from the top leading to the Raw brand running a major market in Long Island to draw the biggest crowd of the week with over 10,000 at the Nassau Coliseum, while the SmackDown tour with both Hogan and Hunter having the weekend off on the way to the pay-per-view main event, seeing the shows headlined by Kurt Angle vs Edge and the Backlash preview matches, with Angle and Edge after the earlier segment keeping the feud going facing off again midway through the second hour in a tag match with Rikishi and Albert on each side to go 4 minutes. Unlike most weeks when the SmackDown TV broadcast built to a commercial-free conclusion for the main event quarter, SmackDown on the night saw Chris Jericho and Triple H coming out already at 9.37 pm to go over almost the entire last half hour, maintaining a 3.7 rating with 5.9 million viewers with no bump from the previous 30 minutes of the show with the full 9-10 to pm hour averaging 5.9 million viewers overall as Hunter vs Jericho went 5 minutes before Undertaker was shown entering Vince's office as a cliffhanger before the final commercial break in a rare situation interrupting the SmackDown TV main event, with Taker after being attacked by Hunter on Monday becoming the second performer in the brand extension era to appear on the other brand with the justification for the move being that he's now feuding with Hogan who's going to appear on both brands followed by Jericho vs Triple H continuing for 8 more minutes for 16 total minutes of TV time to end with Jericho going over after Taker's interference to set up the first ever Hogan vs Jericho match for next Thursday, bringing out Hogan for the save for the show closing brawl with SmackDown after rebounding strong last week from the low number of April 11th taking another hit on the night facing strong first run competition on network television to drop to a 3.4 rating with 5.5 million viewers, among the least watched Smackdown shows in its history to make it two of the last three weeks at near record low territory for the brand and a worrying sign of a potential pattern resulting in Raw who unlike SmackDown's roller coaster viewership patterns held steady with four straight 4.8 ratings since the brand split equaling the score to now have each brand winning two weeks since the official start on April 1st, as the company would hope to reverse the momentum starting next Thursday with the Big Hogan Jericho title match advertised a week in advance.